in case you are working on a website and uh, there has been some maintenance going on um, and you don't want the users to see that then you have to go to con configuration of your website and then you have to scroll down a bit and then you have to go to maintenance mode uh, so basically what what happens is whenever you are working on something and some maintenance thing is going on so it can be upgrading some modules or themes then uh, you may want to um, share that with your users with the visitors of the website so if you will check this and then um, as it says put site into maintenance mode so whenever the site will be on maintenance mode then users will be shown this particular message which is uh, site is under maintenance uh, we wish uh, we should be back shortly thank you for your patience and if you want you can change it as well so let's say something like this and now if you uh, save configuration then then only authorized users will be able to access it through a slash user page else they won't be so if we'll go to lo log out then we can see that it says that site is under maintenance and this is the uh, message which it shows now if we'll go to user then you will be shown the option to actually log in so you can log in but you uh, but normal users or anonymous users can't access the website so going back to configuration again and then the maintenance mode if you'll uncheck it and click on save configuration and if you log out then uh, we, we can see the content so basically um, if you want uh, if if you want the users to not see any updates which are going on um, then you have to um, go to maintenance mode and uh, put the website into maintenance mode or else they will be uh, seeing something which is going on throughout the maintenance process which could be uh, something which uh, let's say you are playing around with the theme you are working on um, so users can see how your blocks are moving from one place to another so to save them from this problem uh, you just put the website into maintenance mode so once again you have to just go to con configuration and then you have to go to maintenance mode and click on this to actually put the website into the uh, maintenance mode Thank you for watching the tutorial.